Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Nick, and this is Corvette Modified, and I'm coming to you from Phoenix, Arizona, and the temperature is starting to cool down. Uh, today in the garage, it's a uh, chilly 87 degrees, which is uh, about as cold as it's been since probably early May. On today's episode, it's not going to be much about modifying. It's going to be more about storytelling. And... You know, there's no real easy way to get into this uh, other than probably to to preface this with uh, with an expression my dad used to uh, to tell me as a kid when I was growing up. And you know the thing he would tell me, he told me a million times, is he would say that smart people learn from other people's mistakes, normal people learn from their own mistakes, and dumb people make the same mistake over and over, and they normally don't learn. So I'm going to share a story with you. And I'm hoping that, you know, most of you out there, um, particularly coupe owners, are going to be able to learn from my mistake and not do the same thing that I did. On Tuesday, I took my son to preschool for the first time in my Corvette. And my son, he's uh, three and a half. He absolutely loves working in the garage with me. Loves the Corvette. Um, I hardly ever take him in it just because it's obviously not very safe. There's a whole regimen I have to go through to get it safe enough to get his car seat in here and uh, and get to a standard that I'm, I'm comfortable driving him uh, in the car. And I did it. And I took him to, to preschool. And I took the top off, put it in the trunk, drove him there. He had a great time, really nice event. Uh, you know, really good memory, get to work and do what I normally do. I, you know, pull in, park my car, uh, grab the top out of the trunk, put on the car, get in the car, uh, roll the windows up and, uh, you know, grabbed, uh, grab my glasses, walked into work. And then later on that day, uh, my boss asked me if I wanted to go grab some lunch with him. So I said, sure, let's go do it. And he said, hey, how about we take the Corvette today? And I said, I can't see why not. So we jumped in my car, uh, start heading down to a restaurant. And we go to turn on to a major road. And I discover that my hair uh, is getting a little breezy. And I look at my rear view mirror and I see my top. Bouncing off the road. So... You know, uh, my boss was like, whoa, what just happened? And I'm like, I am a fornicating idiot. And I did not latch my top down. So we needed to pull over uh, and, you know, go grab my top out of the middle of the road. I was ultra fortunate. Uh, you know, there was no cars behind me, no motorcyclists, no pedestrians. I mean, this could have went really, really, really bad. Uh, so, you know, the only, the only thing bad that happened is that my top flew off. Um, you know, it got trashed. After the initial shock of, of everything that occurred, um, I sat back and I did some, some reflection on on root cause analysis, how did this happen? Because I, you know, I've owned my car for five and a half years, very aware of the Flying Roof Club. I've had several friends that this has happened to. Um, <clears throat> I even bought this, this thing here. This guy here. And it's called the Flying Roof Club, or it's like the Flying Tops uh, tag. And basically, you, you strap it up to your, your latch here. And the thought is that this will be dangling in your face, and you got to strap it up here. And I had bought this, you know, two and a half years ago or whatever. And when this happened, I, I hadn't seen this thing in a very long time. And I was going, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure I bought one of these to be a, a manual reminder for me. Where the heck was it? 
And, you know, while I was looking for it, I found in my, my trunk that <clears throat> this had slid off the handle. Let me show you how easily it, it slides off. I have it cinched down as much as I can, but, you know, that that's how easily this thing will, will come off your handle because, you notice the handle is shaped in a triangle. So the only way this thing is going to stay on there is if you drill, you know, may drill into this, put in some type of stud to keep it from sliding off. A better location for the strap is going to be, let's not blind myself here, is actually this back latch. And it's a better location because the, the end of the latch is fat. So you can't as easily pull the strap off. It'll at least stay on the latch uh, probably indefinitely. So the uh, the one issue with it though, and it just it ends up coming down to habit. You you velcro that guy up to it, and then when you go to pull this latch off, you got to remember to undangle this guy so that it'll be dangling next to you when you get back into your car. If you don't do that then you're going to have no reminders. I really wish that I had some type of excuse. Like I was going through, you know, I had some big meeting on my mind. I got a cell phone call, something. I literally have nothing I can think of off the top of my head why I forgot to latch my top that day. Like I said, it was an awesome morning. I took my son to preschool for the first time in the Corvette. It was like a really great memory. And uh, that's it. That's all I got. I, I got nothing. You know, the reason that I didn't latch the top was because I was dumb and I wasn't thinking. And, you know, it's like it could happen to you. You have your car uh, for, you know, it's like I said, I've had mine for five and a half years and I've taken my top off hundreds of times, you know, maybe a thousand times. And you forget one time and it is an absolutely costly mistake. So as a interim solution, uh, I went ahead, I ordered two more of these crappy straps that, you know, require me to manually tether them up there. I'm going to probably drill a screw or do something to make sure that the straps won't slide off the handles. I'm going to be act, you know, I'm going to be like a crackhead, you know, like freaking out. Did I latch my top going forward? And on top of that, I've been really thinking about engineering some type of solution, you know, where maybe I have like a, a plunger sensor that only gets turned off when the, the latch gets swung into it. And then it's tied to a, a light slash warning sensor. And, you know, there's a lot more thought that has to go into it, but I'm not going to let this go. I'm going to try and come up with some type of automated solution and, you know, ideally I want it for myself so I can sleep better at night, but you know, who knows, maybe other people could benefit from, from me coming out with this. Without further ado, let me show you the damage. So it, these are all very deep scratches on the roof. As you can see, it didn't damage the frame. I got ultra lucky that I've been able to at least continue to drive my car and it is filthy but you know the the glass needs to be replaced um, one of the seals got torn at the back and there's a metal frame under it that that got damaged as well just a little bit more the carnage So, like I said, it, it could have been way worse. As a fix, I found someone locally that had a yellow top in pretty much immaculate shape. And I picked this up for 350 bucks. And I ordered a roll of Avery 5 foot by 3 foot gloss black vinyl wrap. And I'm going to try my hand at wrapping this thing. On a positive note, I did hear back from the company I purchased my new hood from, and they shipped the hood just yesterday. So it's en route to the body shop. And once it's get there, um, I'll be getting this stock hood taken off and 
get my car down there as quickly as possible so that I can continue the, the modifications on my car. That's going to wrap it up for today, guys. If you haven't already, please hit that thumbs up like in the bottom corner of the video. And if you're not already a subscriber, please go ahead and subscribe to Corvette Modified channel. Much appreciated. If you have any comments, feedback, concerns, uh, feel free to, to chime in with what you're thinking down in the, the bottom of the video. And uh, I'm expecting I might get chirped a little bit over this mistake, but it's well earned. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.